uh, my job is to is, is, I, I sit in front of this desk all day every day and uh, it's not um, it's not the most active uh, role I've ever had in my life but I do need to get out uh, exercise. Okay, I am um, just parked up. It's a beautiful day. It's about nine degrees. It's uh, Sunday, the 18th of uh, November. Um, brought with me a, a homemade 17 meter quarter wave, it's Marconi quarter wave, uh, something that I've just um, built at home. Well, a simple design. Um, I could have um, just brought the dipole from Soda Beams, but uh, it's a bit more fun building your own equipment. So I've got the uh, quarter wave Marconi uh, for 17 meters. I bought the Chinese Zegu um, uh, radio and a LiPo battery for that. And I've also bought a matching unit. I bought bought the uh, tuning unit, just in case I need to tune the antenna in if uh, I'm, I'm messing about too long with it. Uh, what else have I got? Yeah, I bought the DX Commander pole just to uh, um, strap the uh, antenna onto, uh, and just see if I can make some contacts on 17 meters. I could have easily gone for 40 meters or 20 meters, but. Um, I quite like 17 meters, not as many contacts on there, but it is very similar to 20. When 20 is sort of open in certain areas, 17 meters also displays similar properties, so um, uh, no contest on there either. Let's see how we get on. So I can go for a walk with a backpack and the uh, DX Commander and then find somewhere to set the um, antenna up with. Okay. See you in a bit. Going that way. That's where we need to be going. Point. We want to be going this way.
Okay. <coughs> this is the. Um, this is what I'm going to set up. Should be able to get a, a decent low angle on the 17 meters. I am going to. Uh, let's just turn this down there a bit. Uh, there's a bench I'm going to set up here, but because people are going to be walking past here, I just need to be careful when they lay any radials down. I'm going to try. Um, this is the, so we can see, uh, I sort of salvaged this from a, an old um, two metre antenna, so I've just soldered to, uh, uh, into there and I've fastened the radials onto here for the moment um, and I'll just strap that somehow um, onto the, uh, well, onto the uh, DX Commander or at least just points near the floor. I'm going to try and put the radios on the floor to start off with and uh, see how far I get with that. But what I may also do is actually lift the antenna, the wire antenna, high in the air because I've got 7 metre pole and this is only uh, 3.9 metres in length. Uh, I, I, I've got enough height to actually try and elevate the radials but uh, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure where, how much of an advantage that's going to give me but I might give that a try in a bit. Um, so uh, there we have uh, the matching unit. Uh, there's two uh, pieces of coax. Uh, X108G's in there um, with a battery um, seat, something to sit on. And uh, and I have got a log book as well. Uh, also bringing with me a little toolkit as well, just in case I need to do any repairs. Uh, a couple of bungee cords and some tape. Right, so I'm just going to set the antenna up and then see how we get on. Okay, um, there's the uh, DX commander, just um, the wire up to it. Uh, coax on onto there, uh, feed line yeah, onto there, and then the radials just running left and right. So um, that's the antenna at the moment, it's just strapped onto the fence. Okay, let's do this first test. Two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango. Two 
2 Echo 0 Echo Zulu Tango. Okay, Krishna, Italia Sharanda 3 Gold Whiskey. Okay, okay, and all about Krishna as well. Uh, I can't see the screen very well at all, um, so I don't know what the SWR is, but I'm using the matching unit, and uh, uh, I'm not getting much reflected power off the um, off the antenna. Um, so it looks like it's putting 20 watts out, and uh, not much is coming back in. So it's it's pretty much in tune, especially with the matching unit. Uh, and uh, already picking up some um, uh, stations on 17 metres. Hopefully they can hear me because I'm only going to be using 20 watts. So uh, it, uh, receiving seems to be okay for the moment, but it's transmitting that uh, uh, may be the... Uh, that's a loud dog. That transmitting may be the issue. So um, we'll, we'll see if we can get this station... This, uh, Canary Island station and to see if we can make contact with him. Hearing plenty of stations, but um, uh, somebody else is beating me to them when they uh, when they say QRZ. So I'll just keep going until um, I get two Echo Zero Echo Zulu Tango. Okay, go for Oscar Baker Baker. <laughs> Hello there, big scene at your 59 over. No, I can't compete with that. Two Echo Zero Echo Zulu Tango Portable. Yeah, thank you very much. Yes, it's two Echo Zero Echo Zulu Tango Portable uh, from the central part of the UK. The name is Carl, Charlie, Alpha, Romeo, Lima, using 20 watts into a, a, a man, handmade uh, wire antenna. You are 5555 into the UK, QSL. Yeah, QSL, two Echo Zero Echo Tango, Italy, Sugar Zero Hotel Mike Zulu. From South Sardinia Island, you're also 5x5, 5x5 in South Sardinia Island. My name is Luca, like a London, United, Canada, America. Can you tell me? Yeah, Roger, Roger, we'll copy there, Luca, yes. Yes, I'm currently in high ground in the central part of the UK with a hand-made uh, wire antenna and uh, 20 watts into a Chinese radio. It's a beautiful, sunny day here in the UK. It's 10 degrees, but a beautiful sunny day in the UK. A microphone back to you. Yeah, QSL uh, 100% listening you, OK. So, in uh, South Sardinia Island, for employment, uh, it's uh, not a very good day because it's raining. Uh, all the night, all night raining in South Sardinia Island. Uh, the sky is uh, very, very cloudy. Uh, and uh, has uh, for the moment uh, uh, 16 degrees plus 16 degrees. Microphone back to you. 2 Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango, Italy, Sigur Zero, Hotel, Mike Zulu, over. Yeah, Roger, Roger, all copied there, Luca. Uh, yes, it's a, a lovely day here. I've got a, a backpack with my radio in uh, and a, a fishing pole with uh, this, uh, this wire antenna. And I've got a, a flask of tea, a cup of tea uh, uh, with me. So it's a beautiful, beautiful 
time uh, to come out into the uh, British countryside. We've not been able to um, read the uh, screen. A lot of it's done by um, just listening. And when I get to, uh, when I go down to here, FT8, I know I've gone way too low and then I just have to work my way back up again. Some beacons, I think. Two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango, portable. <laughs> Two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango, portable. Two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango Portable. Two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango Portable. Two Echo Zero Echo Zulu Tango Portable. Two Echo Zero Echo Zulu Tango Portable. Two Echo Zero Echo Zulu Tango Portable. Two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango Portable. Okay, I'd like to say a fun hour and a half. I uh, made a couple of contacts on 17 metres. Uh, there's a bit more activity, but uh, only 20 watts. Difficult to get through some of the bigger stations. And there's a, a DX just. Um, and everybody was going crazy at it. I'll give it a go, but I'm not sure to get through with that. So uh, I'm going to pack up now, head back to the car, get some lunch. So uh, thanks for staying with me, uh, and I'll uh, catch you again soon. So, ta-ta for now.